Hello children, are you ready for praise and worship today? Okay, but you know what we do before we do praise and worship we would have to pray. So are you ready to pray? We are praying, we are praying, close your eyes. Are your eyes closed? Close your eyes, put your hands together. Put your hands together, say your prayer. Mighty Father, we say thank you. Thank Lord Jesus for such a beautiful day. Lord, we thank Lord for dying on the cross just for us. You are alive today. Lord, we are forever grateful. Lord, even as we praise and worship you, we ask that you accept our praises in Jesus' name. Help us to praise you as we ought to in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I can hear you. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Are you ready for praise and worship? And you need to stand up.
Lift your hands. such a beautiful day. Let's thank God for, for dying on the cross of Calvary just for us. Let's thank God for forgiving our sins, oh God. Mighty Father, we say thank you for forgiving our sins. Thank Lord, as we study your word, we ask that you impact our lives in the name of Jesus. We cover our lives in the blood of Jesus. We cover mommy and daddy in the blood of Jesus. We cover all that we do in the blood of Jesus. We ask the Lord you take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Take all the honor in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed i can hear your voices for in jesus mighty name we have prayed praise the lord hello everybody good morning good morning to you are you alone i hope you're with your friends your brother your sister your cousins your neighbors are you sharing the link i hope you are doing just that because I have been doing that also because I want many people, my friends, to share and learn at the feet of Jesus. I am always excited when I come into the presence of God because there's fullness of joy. I hope you know that. How was your week? How did you enjoy coming to the end of September? How fast the week has gone. How fast the month has gone. But I hope you are doing great at school. All right, before we start our lesson for this week, I would like us to do our check. Do you have your five items? Your Bible? Check. Your fresh fire? Check. Your notebook or your notepad? Check. Your pen or pencil to write with? Check. And your offering? Your Jesus money? Check. I am very sure by now you are all doing amazing with our five checklists, right? Good job. Today is the last Sunday of the month. What do we do every last Sunday of the month? Review. Yes, we're going to be having September review. Who can tell me what have we been learning about? Who have we been learning about? Mm -hmm. If you say Jehovah, then you are absolutely correct. Last week, I'm sure we studied about Jehovah Ebenezer, right? And this week, we're just going to be running through all we've studied for the moon about Jehovah. The first week, we learned that Jehovah is Jireh, Jehovah Jireh, God, a provider. Week two, we learned that he is, I am. That means he is present anytime, whoever we call him to be the healer, the protector. He is today, tomorrow, and forever. Then last week you learned about Jehovah Benezer, where God helped them. He was like their stone of help when they had to fight the Philistines. And also I enjoyed the part where the God, Dagon, had to bow to God. They kept the ark of God where Dagon, their own little God, was. Because they believed that they were equal. But God would never share his glory with any other God. And guess what? I'm sure if you remember, Dagon, they came the next morning, Dagon was on the floor. They lifted it up. And the next morning again, Dagon was on the floor. And this time, the head and the hands were off. Okay. And they came the other day and they saw Dagon on the floor. This time, with the head and the hands on the floor. There is no God like our God. Our God is all 
powerful. I'm sure they got the message. That was the height of the story for me. The peak part of where I like the fact that God is showing that he is powerful and no one can compare with him. This week, we have going, we're going to learn some more names about God. We've been having so much fun learning about God through his names revealed in the Bible. There are many more stories like that. Like when God visited Abraham at age 99 years old, when he was 99, in Genesis 17 verse 1 to 2. God appeared to him. The Lord said, I am God all-powerful. Obey me and do what is right. I will make an agreement between us. I will make you the ancestor of many people. So that was where God introduced himself as I am. God, all powerful. He always makes us understand each of these names and how he will manifest himself for us because of that name. So the name of God, all powerful, is also the name El Shaddai. So when you hear people say Jehovah El Shaddai, it means God of the mountain, God the destroyer of enemies, God the self-sufficient, God the nurturer of babies, God the almighty. Wow. Read the Bible passages. We have a tax that we're going to do together. Read the Bible passages below to discover more names of God and write out what you find. You can ask your mom or dad for help. Then we are going to do something special with our findings. I remember I always advise that you go ahead of class to study so that you have your notepad where you have your notes. So if you have studied ahead of class like I have done, you are going to be ready for this tax. Because in Genesis 16 verse 13, we are going to talk about the name of God and the meaning. So I'll go ahead if you have not studied and you'll take notes. So number one, Genesis 16 verse 13, the name of God there was given to him or was talked about by Hannah. And she said, Eroi, the God that has seen me. That means I have seen the one who sees me. You know, she felt alone with all the other children and the other wife mocking her because she has no child. But then she went to pray and the priest noticed her. And told her God has answered your prayers. So she knew there and then that God has seen her, even when it felt like she was a nobody. So whenever we feel lonely, whenever you feel alone, whenever you think you do not matter, just remember the name Eroi, the Lord who sees you when no one else sees you. Okay? The next one, number two, in Mark 14, verse 36. It was where Jesus was talking to God at the garden when he was saying, if, this, if it is possible, take this cup away from me, but let your will be done. He called him a special name, and that is Abba. Abba means what? Father. Yes. The God whom everything is possible for. So he knew that it's possible for God to take away this cup, but he said, I know. He corrected himself immediately that this is not your will. So let your will be done. We show that God can do all things. So we call him Abba, our Father. All right? Are you taking notes? If you are not, you will have to go back as an assignment to do this. Then number three. Exodus 17 verse 15. If you open up that part, you will see where Jehovah was called Jehovah Nisi. I know it's on Jehovah Sham, Jehovah Nisi. We do not know the meaning. Do you? Do you? Well, I found out when I was studying. It means that the Lord is my flag in war or my banner. Okay? Like he's a covering over us. Okay? Jehovah Nisi means the Lord my flag in war. Because this time around, they were preparing to go for war and the Lord gave them victory. So they remember that he is their banner. He is their shield. Always protecting us. Always fighting for us. Okay? Number 4. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8. Are you there? should be easy for us to find. Sword, sword. Bible students, are we there? Okay. 
you will see the part where John was talking about God. And he said, Alpha and Omega. That means God is the beginning and the ending, which is, which was, and which is to come. The God which is, just like we learned when we learned about Jehovah I Am, that He is in the past, He is in the present, and even in the future, He is. I Am means present. So, John is also echoing this by saying, I found Omega, the God who which is, which was, and which is to come. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is the beginning and the ending. He's the one who made our things. So he knows the beginning even from the end. He knows the ending even from the beginning. Okay? So we are free to call him Alpha and Omega. So that is for number four. Moving on to number five. Georges chapter six, verse 24. Yes. There they called him Jehovah Shalom. We know that Shalom means peace, right? Good. So Jehovah Shalom simply means the Lord is peace. So when you want peace in your life, when you feel like you are troubled, your heart is restless, you are worried, just remember, I have Jehovah Shalom. The Lord is peace. Peace in your heart, peace in your home, peace over every situation. So these names, these amazing names we are learning about God should always be at our tongues, should always be in our minds. They will give us peace, they will give us assurance, they will give us strength, they will give us confidence at all times. If we remember these names, and that's the essence of this lesson for this September, all these lessons we've been learning. So we'll move on to number six, Matthew chapter 1 verse 23 and it's about when the angel of the Lord was talking to Mary that she was going to be conceived of the Holy Spirit and the virgin woman will give birth to a baby named we all know that Emmanuel God with us so close to us God with us
Emmanuel in your family or you are even Emmanuel so you should be proud of that name it means God is with us at all time he is with us okay not just when Jesus was born at every point in time he is with us then the last but not the least number seven Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 it says God is the ancient of days amazing Yes, just like we know that is Alpha and Omega. He knows the end from the beginning. So who is able to do that if not the ancient of days? That means he existed even before time existed. Okay? He is the God who has ruled and is ruling forever. So that's the meaning of being the ancient of days. So many people call him different things. You can create a name for yourself. Just call him anything. He is I am. That word I am means endless names. You can call him anything. He is ready to be anything good for us. Eya Asher Eya, Abba, El Shaddai, Adonai, and Emmanuel. Sound familiar? 
That's because those are some of the names for God. But wait, I thought there was only one name. Welcome to Mysteries of the Bible. In the Bible, God tells us his name many times. He uses different names to describe something about his character. It's important to know that God is pretty big and that one name doesn't fully explain who he is. Like Abba, to Jesus, God was like a loving father, tender, caring, and personal. This was like calling God Papa, something you would only call your own dad. Eya, Asher, Eya. When Moses was commanded to free the Israelites from Egypt, he asked God, what's your name? God said, Eya, Asher, Eya, which means I will be who I will be, the one who was, the one who is, and whoever will be. Or you couldn't wrap your mind around it. El Shaddai. When Abraham met God, Abraham was in his 90s, and God promised to provide Abraham with as many descendants as stars in the sky. God called himself El Shaddai then, which means Almighty Provider. Adonai. God knows what is best for us and expresses that in this name. It means Lord, Master, like a parent that wants us to listen to him. And then there's Emmanuel. This is a special one. It means God with us and is another name for Jesus. God became human not only to save us, but to live like us. So God's name means so much more than just a word. It shows us his character, his identity, and what he's like. Guess what? I'm gonna give us a bonus fact. As children of God, our names are special because they are for God's glory. Every name that we bear should have a special meaning because all our names are to glorify God. Our God-given names also reveal God's special plan for our lives. Yes, is your name in the Bible? Hmm, I'm sure some of you are excited, yes. Are you Joseph? Are you Daniel? Are you Moses? Where and what is the story around the person who had your name in the Bible? Can you tell the story? If you have a biblical name, it should be easy for you to remember who had that name in the Bible and what is the special story behind it so that you can also use that to reach others for Christ's kingdom. Yes, when you bear those special names, you are already in the mission because your name has to make you tell them the story and why you got that name and what amazing things God can do for us at different times like Shadrach is just coming to my head remember when they were put in the fire all right well I don't have a biblical name but it means something glorious to God all right so you go ask your parents what's the meaning of my name in case you don't know and you will find out one way or the other especially in Africa here our names always exalt the name of God all right now your assignment you're going to have fun i wish i can do this with you because even at the spot i can see some words already in the puzzle we are given here we're going to discover more names of god i can see deliverer on the spot i can see trinity i can see yahweh i can see advocate i can see love mighty one god Alpha, Emmanuel, Father, Bridegroom, Almighty, the Most High, Yahweh, Christ, Truth, Eternal, Omega, Helper, Lord, Jesus, I Am, King, Savior. These are many, many, many names amongst the many, 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 many names that God has. So you're just going to have to do this puzzle. Remember how we do jigsaw puzzles? You can do them across, up to down, down, up, side to left, left to right. Just finish them up and have fun. Make sure you're not just doing the puzzle. You're also learning the names of God. All right. Let us stand up as we take our life application. Stand like Jesus' soldiers. Put your right hand on your chest and repeat after me as usual. God is Ra, my shepherd. So Ra is another name, okay? We are learning. It means my shepherd. God is 
Elohim, my creator. And I will call God by his names. So take it again. God is Ra, my shepherd. God is Elohim, my creator. I will call God by his names. While we are still standing, put your hands down. Let's take our memory verse for the month. I'm sure everyone knows the memory verse by now because this is the last week of September. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Exodus chapter 15 verse 11. And it says, Who is like you among the gods, O Lord, glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders. We take it again. Who is like unto thee, O God, amongst the gods, glorious in holiness, awesome in splendor, performing great wonders. We keep saying this and God is going to perform great wonders in our lives today, this week, and the rest of this year and the rest of our lives. Say amen. Amen. Okay, remember our roots, our guide, our tips. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Because when you take care of yourself, your loved ones are also secured. And they are at peace. Wash your hands with soap and clean water. You can have your pocket sanitizer if you still have those ones. Okay, observe social distancing. Eat healthily. And remember, with God, our healer, we will beat every form of infirmities out there. We want to pray. Close your eyes. Put your hands together. Let's say our prayers. Father, you are Jehovah Ebenezer, our helper and our defender. We will worship only you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. See you again next week. Bye-bye.